Welcome back. Jack, what was the weirdest cat experience you ever had? I'm not talking about the, you know, the naughty kind. Hey, hey. Oh, oh okay, in that sense, uh, the case, the weirdest one was probably when I took this cab and the driver looked like he was about to die while sending me. <laughs> <laughs> it was this shriveled old man and he was driving at like 50 kilometers per hour the whole time. And on top of that, he was coughing so badly, I swear. And he couldn't drive straight, it kept going out of his lane. You can imagine coughing, driving left and right, zigzagging. I really thought he was going to die with me in the backseat. Okay, a few questions. <laughs> was he drunk? No. No, he was sick. He was He was sick. No, but yeah. you see, uh, all these old people, they have to join the workforce again. And you know, but I guess um, they should be joining a workforce that's not so risky. A profession that's not so risky. Such as? Can you I don't know, something? like a uh, cashier. I mean, okay. cashier is not very risky. I mean, you either give the wrong change or, you know, even if you, you expire. <laughs> you don't expire. expire and take somebody down with you. I guess, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, maybe, but cab- cabbies? Maybe yeah, I mean, you're on know. the road, you can potentially take destroy many quite a few people. That's true. Well, anyway, honestly, I was super scared that he was just going to die then and then, and maybe I would have died with him too. I mean, sorry, wait, why the question? Okay, it leads us to the next story where Stomper oh. Daphne was appalled and the cabbie supposedly drove off before her four-year-old son What? What does that mean? Like, she got off and he drove off and the door was open? Why Why would the cabbie do that? What happened was this family of three took this cab and Stomper Daphne got off first at Hilton Hotel. Her husband and son then alighted near Millennial Walk. What happened was Daphne's husband paid for the cab and got out first with the intention of helping his son open the door to get out. Okay. But before he could do so, the cab driver sped <laughs> off. <laughs> well, maybe he was, you know, rushing to pick up another passenger. Like he just took up a call. But still, the young child was in the cab all by his lonesome self. Now, if you think in an extreme sense, it would be kidnapped. <laughs> Can you chill? I mean, the cab driver drove back, right? Yeah, but I was almost kidnapped, man. And what? that was because the poor husband ran after the cab. And apparently, the cab driver drove off with the four-year-old unbuckle! But still, it's not for long. I think maybe Daphne should just chill a bit. And after all, but okay, think about it. It's her kid, and you can't expect her to chill and not care. Especially when it's her kid, you know. Apparently, the kid was in a poor state of shock. And it took him like 20 minutes, man. Wait, calm down. Okay, well, maybe this kid is just too pampered. I think it would be like an adventure ride. Woo, woo! You know, but on a serious note, okay, like parents in Singapore are way too protective over their children. And if they would just relax a bit and not restrict their kids so much, maybe their kids would be much more independent. I feel like parents here really treat their kids like gods. But the kid is like four years old, man. Hey, wait, for example, it's like an American or European kid will probably have moved out of their parents' house after high school mm. when they go to college. Whereas, you know, here in Singapore, you see guys and girls in their 30s, 20s, 30s, still living with their folks. But that's because the rent here is expensive. I think it's all about the culture. I think parents here hang on to their kids too much. Let them go! Experience the world getting driven off <laughs> by a cabbie by mistake. It's not going to kill your son. Perhaps the cabbie was distracted because his own kids are somewhere else in danger. But honestly, the cabbie was probably just rushing off to earn more money, you know. And he didn't expect this, what, the husband to get off and go to the other side to open the door for his son to get off. I mean, can't the son open his own door? Or just come out, come, old out man. Door? come out the same door? Hey, you're like making so many excuses for the cabbie. Honestly, are you married to him? You've been stopped.